this vintage file cabinet that's been in our garage for years is about to get a facelift. Let's do this. First thing first is to clean out all the drawers. There's some random stuff that I've been collecting over the years, like some hardline phone cables, random plastic pieces that I'm not sure what they actually went to, more phone cords, what garage wouldn't be complete without birthday candles, and some replacement Christmas light bulbs. This garage file cabinet had a little bit of everything you can imagine stored in it. Some stuff organized, and a lot of it not organized. As a kid, I remember my dad storing firecrackers in this drawer. Now it's just a random fishing bobber. A lot of the drawers were labeled miscellaneous hardware, which could just be a plethora of random hardware. Got a whole drawer of electrical faceplates in multiple colors. You know it. It's time to get down to business and clean all these drawers out. Oops, looks like I missed one. All right, we'll have to get that later. Game plan is I'm gonna take these three off the top. That way we make it level all the way across. And that way I can also use the hardware from those three to replace like a couple of them like that. I used a multi-tool to give some relief cuts to the top portion I was getting rid of and then used my hammer as a crowbar to pry the top portion off. I removed all the hardware from the front of the drawers as well as ordered some new drawer handles. As for the old brass hardware, I asked my buddy Craig at the Barefoot Forge for a little help. He's a blacksmith and had all the right tools to be able to shine up the brass a lot easier and faster than I was ever going to. While Craig worked on cleaning up the brass hardware, I got to work on the front of these drawers. It was pretty interesting to see what was actually held in these cabinets way back in the day from the old labels. There was also a lot of stickers and sticker residue that had to be addressed. So I got out my sander and went to work. Once all the drawers were sanded, it was time to give this cabinet a facelift with some new life and some new paint. I let everything dry overnight before I came back in and added the new cabinet drawer handles. Big thank you again to my buddy Craig at the Barefoot Forge for cleaning up all the brass hardware and making my life a lot easier. I would have been there for days, if not weeks, trying to still clean up this hardware. I made it a point not to patch the holes before painting so that when it came time to adding the hardware back on, lining up the hardware with the holes would made it a lot easier. Came across this old metal toolbox. It was extremely heavy. It was tucked away in the very far corner, only to find a plethora. Look at these. Look at these keys. I mean, all types, old vintage ones, or modern new, you know, house keys. These ones are like vehicle keys. And of course a bunch of old locks, but it didn't end there. Found another box, of course, full of more keys. But I got some fun ideas on how I can uh, make these into something more purposeful. There's a little, little taste. What I have in mind. Before I could do anything creative with these keys, I had to start by taking all the keys off the key rings, which was, well, quite a project. I decided to only use the brass keys for this project. I laid them out in a design I was happy with, super glued them down to a board, and then laid a thin layer of resin over the top of it. I used tape as my barrier to build up my resin pores. I did five pores in total. The first four pores, I used the tape barrier to build up the resin. And the last and final pour, I taped off the edge and let the pour of the resin beat off of the edge to give a nice glass finish. 24 hours later after I dried, it was able to pull off the resin from the tape. And for the last step, I just pulled back the tape off of the wood edge, giving that nice glass finish. Now it's time for the grand reveal. It's kind of hard to believe that the garage looked like this just a few months ago and now looks as beautiful as this. I'll be doing a full garage renovation video once everything's complete, but as for now, this little corner just makes me so happy to see it completed.
Thank you.